Elder Bednar begins his talk by telling about the prophet Enoch. When Enoch was called to be a prophet, he couldn't understand why he was chosen. He said, but I am a lad, which means a young boy, and all the people hate me, for I am slow of speech, wherefore am I thy servant? However, the Lord assured Enoch that he would help him be a prophet. The Lord answered him by saying, behold, my spirit is upon you. Wherefore, all thy words will I justify, and the mountains shall flee before you, and the rivers shall turn from their course, and thou shalt abide in me, and I in you. Therefore, walk with me. Elder Bednar explains that abide means remaining fixed or stable and enduring without yielding. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland explained that abiding as an action means to stay, but to stay forever. So the first question is, how do we abide in Christ? Elder Bednar gives us some examples. First, we begin to abide in Christ by making and keeping covenants. He says, the covenant connection we have with our Heavenly Father and His resurrected and living Son is the supernal source of perspective, hope, power, peace, and enduring joy. It is also the rock-solid foundation upon which we should build our lives. Next, we can abide in Christ by strengthening our relationship with Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. One way is by praying. Another way we can abide in Christ is by feasting upon the words of Christ. Truly searching the scriptures can bring us closer to Him. We can also abide in Christ by preparing for and worthily partaking of the sacrament. And finally, we can abide in Christ by serving others. These are just a few ways we can abide in Christ. Elder Bednar reminds us that we can ask Heavenly Father and learn for ourselves by the power of the Holy Ghost other meaningful ways we can make Christ the center of our lives in all that we do. The next question is how can the Savior abide in us? Elder Bednar says, if we abide in him, he will abide in us. But is it indeed possible for Christ to abide in you and me individually and personally? The answer to this question is a resounding yes. He can plant a seed in our hearts. The life, mission, and doctrine of Jesus Christ will be in our hearts. As we nourish that seed, it can become a tree springing up in us unto everlasting life. The last part of Enoch's answer from the Lord was, Therefore, walk with me. Elder Bednar tells us there are two parts to walking with the Savior, keeping His commandments and honoring our covenants with Him. He says, Jesus beckons to each of us, come follow me and walk with me. Elder Bednar promises that when we walk with the Savior, we are blessed with power, guidance, protection, and peace. Thanks for watching. I'm a member of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Something special happens every six months in our church. It is a worldwide conference where we hear our beloved prophets speak, as well as the 12 apostles and many other wonderful church leaders. We gather in person or through internet and other forms of communication. We receive over eight hours of Christ-centered messages.